introducing the topic double entry system. The question goes for. From the books of Golden Penny, Penny Limited, enter the following transactions into the appropriate ledger account, meaning that each transaction will be recorded in two different accounts, in two different manner. So now, January 1, paid each company for supply of car by 1,000 Naira cash. So, Golden Penny Limited has an increase in its assets as per cash. And whenever asset, any asset is increasing, we debit, meaning the car account will be debited. And as a result of that, there was a decrease in cash accounts by 1,000 Naira. And whenever any account is reducing, we credit such account. As a result of that, car account will be one paid each company for the supply of car, 1,000 Naira cash. This transaction involves two assets. The asset as per car is increasing, while the asset as per cash is reducing. And as a result of that, cash account will be credited. And in the particular column, we write car, indicating that there was a decrease in cash as a result of the car that was bought. Then, car account will be debited because there was an increase in car uh, as a result of the 1,000 Naira cash paid to the supplier. January 2nd, bought Blue Dozer from AC company on credit of 3,000 Naira. So now, Bulldozer is an asset. So there was an increase in asset as per Bulldozer. So Bulldozer account will be debited. Then there is an increase in the indebtedness of Golden Penny Limited to Bulldozer. And whenever there is increase in liability, of the organization to any personality, such an organization or person will be credited. So we shall debit bulldozer to, don't forget your currency sign, to one AC company. 3,000 Naira, then bulldozer accounts will be credited to one. The corresponding debit entry of bulldozer January 3, a loan of 500 Naira cash was received from Basi. So, the company's, the company's indebtedness, liability to Basi as a result of the loan collected from Basi increased. So, the transaction will lead to a credit entry in Basi's accounts and a debit entry in cash account because there is an increase in cash. So, Basi January 3 cash 500 Naira January 3 January 4, paid AC computer 
by, ca by cash, 2,000 Naira. So the indebtedness of the organization to AC Computer, when it was paid, reduced. And the car assets as per cash that was paid, equally reduced. So for that, we shall debit AC Computer and credit cash account. So AC Computer, four, one. Cash two thousand naira. Then we are going to credit cash for one AC computer three thousand naira. January five, Mr. David okay pays by cash. 1,500 Naira. Now, the indebted, the asset, the collectible debt from Mr. David, when he paid, reduced. And Mr. meaning Mr. David was a debtor. And because he was a debtor, he, the collectible debt as per meaning assets that was to be collected from him when he paid dropped and the cash that was collected increased so for this transaction we shall credit mr david and debit cash accounts so we are coming to the debit side of cash account five one the person they received money from was mr david and the amount received from him was one thousand 500 naira. Then we are coming, then we are going to credit Mr. Davis' account. 5 1 cash. 1,500 naira. January 6 sold equipment for cash. 2,500 naira. Equipment is an asset. And when it was disposed, when it was sold, the value of the equipment they had reduced. And the value of the cash they have, they now have increased because they collected money in exchange for the equipment they sold. So as a result of that, equipment account will be credited, while cash accounts will be debited. So... Six one cash two thousand five hundred naira. Then on the debit side of cash, we have six one equipment two thousand five hundred naira. Then a debtor, Mr. Ash Ashimiu, paid by check 5,000 Naira. That means that Mr. Ashimiu's debt to the organization, collectible debt from Mr. Ashimiu, reduced. So he's owing the organization lesser amount of money. So we are going to credit Mr. Ashimiu's account and debit bank account because it led to an increase in the money that the organization has in its bank account. So Mr. Ashimiu's account will be credited. Seven one bank five thousand. Five thousand naira. Then the bank account will be debited because this transaction led to increase in the money at the bank. It, 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 has she knew? Five 
January 6th. Bought stationery by cash. 500 naira. The expenses incurred on the purchase of stationery increased. And whenever there is increase in expenses, such expense will be debited. And the cash that was paid in exchange for the stationery in Kyoch, we are going to credit it because it decreased cash. So, since one stationery. Five hundred naira. Then we go to stationary accounts on the debit side. Six one cash. Five hundred naira. Nine. So goes to Ajayi. Ajayi. Totaling two thousand naira. Is worthy of notes that whenever the name of the person to whom goose was sold or from whom goose was purchased is being mentioned and it's not written there that it was in form of cash, it means it was a credit entry. So goods were sold to Mr. Jai on credit basis. Meaning Mr. Ajayi is owing the organization 2,000 Naira and the organization earned 2,000 Naira from the sale of goods to Mr. Ajayi. And whenever there is increase in revenue, we credit such revenue And whenever the indebtedness of the person to whom goods were sold to increase, we debit it. It's collectible debt. It's an asset to the organization. So here, 10-1. The reason why it increased was because the organization sold goods was 20,000, 2,000 naira to Mr. Ajayi, repaid Mr. Basi the loan of 500 naira cash. Since we already have Mr. Basi's account, we have prepared an account for Mr. Basi earlier on. We don't need to draw another ledger account. The first one, the one prepared already is sufficient for the next transaction. So, now, the organization's liability to Mr. Bassi reduced by four, 500 Naira. So, we shall, whenever there is reduction in liability, we usually debit. So, 10, 10, 1. Cash. 500 naira. Then we are going to credit the cash account. Five hundred naira. Now, having totaled the ledger accounts and balanced it, the next thing is to know which one is assets, which one is expenses, which one is revenue, and which one is liability. Now, it's worthy of note 
that all assets must be debit balances. That is, the opening balance of all the assets will be on the debit side if it's an asset. But in this case, the opening balance on the 1st of February is on the credit side, meaning it's no longer an asset but a, but, but a liability. Now, car is an asset because it's on the debit side. Bulldozer is an asset because it's on the debit side. AZ computer is a liability because it's on the credit side. The opening balance is on the credit side. Bassi's account was Bassi's loan collected on the 3rd of January was paid on the 10th. So the organization is no longer owing Bassi any amount of money. So that is that about Bassi's account. AC computer. There's a debit, uh, there is a debit balance of 1,200, uh, 2,000 Naira. Meaning, AC computer is owing the organization 2,000 Naira. Then, cash, uh, Mr. Mr. David, the, there's, There is a debit balance, I'm uh, sorry, a credit balance of 1.5 on the 1st of February, meaning is a liability. Equipment normally should be a debit balance, but this is an abnormal situation because we were not told the value of the equipment they had on the ground or which they, they had in their organization when the asset was disposed, before the asset was sold, then Xiamu is a credit balance. What we mean by being a credit balance is we are the opening balance is in the following year. The opening balance is on the credit side. So it's a liability to the organization. The organization is only Mr. Smith, 5,000 Naira. This 5,000 Naira on the debit side of bank accounts means they have 5,000 Naira cash at bank. The stationery is an expense. So it's not of material value. And as a result of that, it will be posted to a temporary account at the end of the session or whatsoever. Temporary accounts known as profit and loss accounts. Then, Mr. Ajayi is a debit balance, meaning, meaning Mr. Ajayi is owing the organization. Because the balance brought down is on the on the debit side, then sales. Sales is transferred to a temporary account known as trading account. So it does not have a balance carried down. Having gotten to this stage, I want to thank you for viewing this video. And I want you to subscribe and click the notification bell. And if there is any comments concerning any comments concerning this video, I want you to write in the comment section. See you some other time. Have a great day. Bye.